All right, what up, Blockster fam? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Blockster Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Meta. Coin of the day, EOS. Can this coin 2x, 5x, maybe even 10x? Let's pull it up in the charts and break it down just like we do in the live streams every night. Let's get it. All right, all right. Let's jump over here to Lunar Crush. Lunar Crush tracks cryptocurrencies based off of popularity. Right now, we can see EOS is ranked number two. So out of 2,967 altcoins is ranked number two. So they're the second most popular cryptocurrency in the world right now. And that's huge. Popularity definitely matters. Dang, EOS back up to 550. Gosh, dang, that coin's crushing it right now. So if we look over here on the eight hour time frame, and I think it's a good idea if you ever want to take a different look at a coin, try changing up your time frames from one hour to say four hour. Instead of doing four hour, do three and a half hour, do two and a half hour, and take a look at the charts because a lot of times when you switch your time frames, you actually see a lot different setups. Sometimes other people don't see. So I like using the eight hour time frame sometimes, just take a look at the market, kind of analyze the structure. And what I see here is I see EOS came up and completed a one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect cycle. So on the bigger picture time frame, I'd be looking for a retrace target on EOS somewhere around 514 with a load of 487. Now, if I jump over here on a one hour time frame, let's see how the market structure is actually looking on a one hour time frame. We could see the last bullish cross in the one hour time frame we had was right around 473, give or take. I have my moving averages set up. I'll use the five and the 144 moving averages. You come over here and you just turn on your, and by bullish crosses, I mainly use these on the five minute chart, but my settings are volume weighted moving average at 144 and your smooth moving average at a five. And I can see, I almost think that this right here was the peak of my fifth. We retraced down, found support, started to push up again, but I assume the market's a little bit rough right now. Okay, yeah, so Bitcoin is coming down just a little bit. So definitely think that on the bigger time frames, we could see EOS come down and hit one of these targets, either 514 or 487, give or take. As long as the market doesn't go bearish, if I see an EOS come down around 487, I would definitely be more bullish on this coin. And we see all this support right here, so this upper line, somewhere between, I would expect to see EOS come somewhere between 514 and 490. Now, as far as trade setups go for scalp trades right now, it's getting ready to cross back over to your bearish side, but so far it's finding support right there on the 144 day volume weighted moving average. I personally would probably hold out because we've already retraced down from the peak right here this leg retraced back down in here. It seems like it's kind of holding support, but if you're watching this video and it's after the fact, and you see EOS below, say 228, or below, let's play an extra statement, say below 225. If EOS breaks below 225, I would most likely think we're gonna see EOS come down to 514 to 495. Now EOS does have a history of running up parabolically, out of nowhere when nobody least expects it. So you might get lucky. It's not one of those things I'd probably be selling any of my coins on, but you can see here ran up all the way up to 590 and then all the way back down to 470. Then ran up again to 571 and back down to, and all the way back up to 640 and all the way back down to 420. So this coin definitely has those really parabolic. Would I be packing my bags on it long-term, thinking this is a long-term play? If I jump over to CoinMarketCal, I can see that EOS doesn't have any upcoming events, so they're not making any modifications to their blockchain or any big events that should warrant a lot of media attention. I think that EOS is just one of those coins that trades really well, and a lot of traders, including scalpers, swing traders, day traders, enjoy trading this coin. Take a long position, if the market started to get really bullish, I definitely think EOS is definitely going to run up. I think we could probably see EOS upwards of eight, give or take, sometime by December. And if I had to take a best guess, altcoin season, blow off parabolic tops, I think we'll see EOS upwards around 10 to $11, give or take. All right, Bloxer, that's a wrap. Special shout out to the Bloxer team for giving me this opportunity. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Everybody that's followed me on Bloxer and subscribed and joined the Bloxer fam, I appreciate you guys big time. And do me a favor, drop a comment below and let me know when you think we're going to hit a peak for altcoin season, as in date. Do you think it's gonna be in the beginning of 2022? Is it, have we already hit it? And let me know what your favorite altcoin is. By that, I mean what altcoin you think is going to have the most potential to have those 10X, 100X, maybe even a 1,000X gains. And that's a wrap. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.